started. It is Saturday, September 1st, 2018, in the Lunar Cycle, but deepest, so today should be when the choke cherries ripen, and every once in a while, miracles happen, and I think that's what's happened this morning. It looks like I've caught Mama Skunk here, the one that belongs to these two babies, and so they're going to have a reunion, and um, I hope when I let her out here, that these two babies are going to be able to follow her and uh, go do their thing. They poopied on me a bit. They're very stinky. <laughs> you guys are super stinky. I bet that I bet that puppy milk didn't sit well in their stomach because it looks like a bit runny. Um, and they're a little stinky. In any case, all right, guys, let's let Mama out and let you out with her. How about that? Huh. Yeah, I've got grossness all over me. <laughs> Nothing like being pooped on diarrhea from a skunk. Maybe around here somewhere. Okay, there's Mama up that way. I don't want to. I don't want to get too close in case uh, I just mess everything up. is going to end up connected with that baby over there somewhere. Watching for that. Where is baby number two? Baby number two went up this way somewhere. Lost track. Shoot. Mama's actually going past baby number one here. Baby one. That's the wrong direction. Your mom is over there. Oh, you come, you come put on a good fight. You come put on a good fight. Well, I was hoping for miracles anyway. Guys, gotta try. There's Mama. There's Mama. Baby, look. There's Mama. She's right up there. She's right up there. There you go. Come 
Come on, baby. You gotta keep up with her. Ah, ah, you're spraying me. Stinky. You're stinky. Mama, come take your baby. Mama, take your baby. Hey, hey, go get it. Go get it, baby. Go get your mama. Ah, oh, shoot. You're all worried about defending yourself. Your mama's moving away. Here you go, mama. Here you go. Here's your baby. move away from them. Let's go look for that other baby. Man, I'm pretty grossed out right now. All the diarrhea and scum spray on me. <laughs> well, that's not exactly the miracle I was expecting. I guess the, uh, the amazing thing at this point is that all three skunks have disappeared into the environment and I've lost them. I've lost track of all of them. So I don't know if the mama is still with the one baby. I think the other baby is is, uh, is separated completely. Maybe he'll be able to find the trail, the scent trail of the others and follow it. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, things did not go as I kind of hoped they were going to go. <laughs> Wasn't a beautiful mother and baby uh, reunion, you know, with uh, there was a few chirps and stuff from the babies, but mama just wanted to get the heck out of there. So I don't know, man. I hate to leave orphan babies out here, but I'm not seeing them. All right, so it's September 1st. Don't want to keep people waiting. It's time for the monthly draw, uh, the newly established, well, it's three months now, that I've been doing this draw for a, a mystery box full of who knows what, you know? Uh, once a month, at the beginning of the month, I'm doing a draw for subscribers that regularly watch the videos um, for a box full of something. Some of it is content from our own subscription boxes. You know, my Battle Box subscription and Mahoney's Creepy Crate. In fact, this month's box is going out in an old Creepy Crate um, skin. But some of the, what's in there is just, you know, stuff that I like that I thought I'd put in there as a kind of a, a payback for... Um, having you guys as subscribers. So this month, I got 328 <laughs> entries into the draw. And if it continues uh, to grow like that, w what I'm gonna need probably is for everybody to sign up um, for the draw, just say I wanna, be, I wanna be entered in the comments on this particular video rather than uh, like I have had it open all month you can just put it whatever video you want you can say you want to be in the draw but I think um, this time around you need to put it in this video and I'm just gonna have a printout so I don't have to write everybody's stuff down um, but we are gonna keep the dice thing going I know some of you have have suggested some electronic means of deciding 
I don't want to do that. I want to go with the dice. So this month, dogs, this month we have 328 um, different applicants. <laughs> so I've divided that contestants. There we go. So I've divided that by four, right? So 328 comes out to 82 um, if you divide it by four. And so we're going to roll a four-sided dice to begin with to figure out whether you are from 1 to 82 or 83 to 164 or what have you, right? So we've got a four-sided dice here. Mahoney is going to be our roller so that it will be impartial. We got a Ooh, one. We got a one. So that means... Somebody in the category of number 1 to 82, the first 82 people that told me they wanted to be uh, in this competition are going to go for it now. Mm -hmm. So our next roll is going to involve a 10-sided dice. And what this is going to decide is 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, and so on. If we if we happen to get a 10 on this roll, um, or this is a 12-sided dice actually. So we're looking for a one through nine roll, basically. And if you end up in the nine roll, that means that you're one of really just two people, 81 and 82. But if you end up in the, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're in the tens, the twenties, the thirties, the forties, so on. All right, so Mahoney, give us a roll. Six or nine. Nine, all right, so that means, <laughs> that means it's either number one or eight two. So I think we should use so the we'll four-sided dice. four-sided dice, yeah. So, all right, so you're either number one or 82. So we're gonna roll a, f this is, this is gonna go to John Doe or Mary Collins, who is otherwise known as Canoe for One on uh, YouTube. So one or two will be John Doe, three or four will be Mary Collins? Um, no, one or three. Okay. The odd numbers will be John Doe, two or four, Mary Collins, okay. Canoe for One. Two, Mary Collins, canoe for one, and I'm very happy actually that it went to this person because now you get the lucky dice. Yeah, because Mary is actually also uh, a Patreon pledger. She supports me in Patreon, and um, and yeah, I'm 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 very happy for this particular luck to go her way that she gets a box. So. You need to message me. Um, probably you can send me a Facebook messenger, a Patreon messenger. I don't know if YouTube still does messages. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah. They do. All right. So yeah, you need to message me. Um, we're gonna move on in the video now to do an unboxing to kind of like show what I'm sending you. So it's best, Mary, for you at this point to turn off the video. Don't spoil your surprise and wait it wait for it to come in the mail but for everybody else I want them to see what it what a box is like a uh, mystery box coming from me so we're gonna continue on right now and show the contents of what's being sent content number one your lucky dice that you won with is going to go in the box and then what else is in here I've got not one t-shirt this month but two all right, I got my usual, every time there's going to be a Rattlesnakes of Lethbridge t-shirt, right? <laughs> so this is... It smells like skunk. <laughs> yeah, if you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're boxing and your stuff smells like skunk, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I move skunks every day and my t-shirts are in the vehicle with me. Yeah. And so the, it's in the cloud. So you, you get a little bit of, that's part of the box. That's part of the, the happiness that you get is you get a little bit of skunk smell too. So. Now you can smell like Ryan. So you, get a, 
So you get a t-shirt, a Rattlesnake's a Left Bridge t-shirt. This is large size. It's the biggest size I have right now. And that coat seal means we live, we coexist in mutual respect. That's written here in English as well as the, uh, as the Facebook page. This is Calf Shirt, who was the original Rattlesnake Wrangler of Left Bridge long before um, I got this uh, opportunity. So a Rattlesnake's a Left Bridge t-shirt. That stinks like a skunk. That smells like a skunk. <laughs> is your number two content in including the dice, right? So I also included a larger t-shirt. Um, this is an extra large or 2XL. And this is from Blood Tribe, Kanai Earth Watch Environmental Conference. It says one tough Indian um, boxing wear. Don't frack with us. This is kind of an anti-fracking Kainai Blood Tribe Blackfoot t-shirt. All right. And um, so the guy is wearing a Sioux style headdress, but actually Blackfoot were transferred that headdress a long time ago. So a lot of people will use that. Yeah, there's an oil drag there. But it's it, yeah. this is an anti-fracking. Yeah anti uh you know environmental destruction message blood mm -hmm. tribe t-shirt so you get two shirts mm -hmm. two shirts um i got a usb hub dog so this you can you can um, connect it to any usb port and it gives you five other usb ports basically or four four other usb ports and a dog head dog head yes Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. It's got a tail and a... Yeah. Oh, I see. It's running and everything. It's a little doggy doggy. we love doggy. dogs. We're dog people. Yeah, it's a little yeah. doggy. Well, of course, dogs Dogs are the protectors. They were given yeah. so that... They were, they were given to us from the sun. So, yeah, yeah no, they're... Any, they're any of the uh, danger that's coming, the dog is going to place... Put himself in between us and that danger. Yeah. That's yeah. the gift. Okay. Um... This comes from a battle box. This is a this is a you know thermos water well, canteen. It's more of a water canteen because I think that'd be too hot to hold a lot of stuff. Yeah, you're right. It's a water canteen. Yeah. Can I smell it? It doesn't stink. It hasn't no, been used. I, I, <laughs> that's not why. I just I want to smell it because it's new. Oh, you want the new smell? Yeah, I like the smell. <laughs> okay, I smell it. The tracking cards that I said I wasn't going to include, I'm going to include because some people said that they wanted these. I don't want them um, because I've got tracking books. But they do have, this is several animals, tracks, several mammals. We've got, and they're pretty common. You know, we run the range of like um, white tailed deer, raccoon, moose, red fox, Snow snowshoe hare, badgers. Squirrel, red, red squirrel. squirrel, porcupine, striped skunk, you know, it's a bunch of pretty common animals. Yeah, a lot of synanthropic animals. Yeah, so, so yeah. We'll, put them, we'll put them in there. Mm -hmm. um, this was made by a client who I removed a skunk from their house and uh, the guy is unemployed and I knew he didn't have any money so I let him pay me with a gift mm -hmm. that I can include in this box. And so he spent like eight hours knitting this wine bottle style beach bag. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's in case you don't want to leave, leave the house without your wine. Well, you can carry other stuff in it. <laughs> you can carry a water bottle. Yeah. Or, well, or a lot know, of stuff. Or you can, you know, it could be like a little, little, uh, you know, purse thing. Just... I, I think what's Very cool is that it's made by one of my customers. Yeah, it's, it's a handmade item. Which you don't see very often nowadays. And um, so I think that's really cool. Yeah. Something so handmade. Handmade. And then um, this is also from BattleBox. This is, oh, uh, not actually, no, it's not. Um, it this just came out about. of my backpack because I had redundant, um, I had other versions of it. And. Uh, <laughs> It's time for me to give one away. So this is strawberry cheesecake, which you don't have to save for when you're out hiking or whatever. You can just eat it. You can just eat it at home and enjoy it. It's a strawberry cheesecake. You mix it with cold water. It makes a nice little... Dogs, enough. 
Makes a nice little just snack. You can eat it straight out of the bag so it can be like laying in bed. It's got a resealable thingy on it. It does, so you can put so, it back in the fridge yeah. and stuff like that. And you don't have to eat it all at one time. Most of these backpackers pantry stuff actually are very hearty. So you don't really want to eat them all at one time. Um, mm -hmm. This is meant for if you're burning thousands of calories in a day backpacking. So if you're at home, you just eat a little bit. Yeah, but you know, they're they're really tasty and I don't want to eat it now. <laughs> I got another one so we could do that. <laughs> um, all right, this is an electronic book that you might have just seen the review of in, in Mahoney's Creepy Crate. Killing Season, the unsolved case of New England's deadliest serial killer. So we're going to send that to you. You can and download it. Yeah, there's a code there's on a here. Download. Yeah, don't show off the download code because that's their download code. Yeah, yeah, I won't show it off. But there is a download code. You can download it. You can read Killing Season. Yeah. Um, this is a bison skin wallet. This wow. is probably 50 bucks worth of material you know, product right here. I think it's more than that because it's wallet alone because it's made out of bison. It's yeah, it's, be a, more than it's a it's a pretty fancy, nice <laughs> men's bison skin wallet. It's weird because this leather smells different than like cow leather. It's kind of got like um. I gotta shut up these dogs. Almost like a minty smell to it. Um, like you can smell that it's leather, but it's got like a different smell than cow leather and. To me, it smells like kind of minty a little bit, kind of like. Um, my nose hairs are burned out, so I don't know. Like uh, <laughs> horse mint. Like my kinda. like my hairs are the things that smell. <laughs> They're the things that pick up the scent. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah, it smells really good. Um, it's a nice it, wallet. It doesn't. It doesn't smell like. Really I've been, I've been no. hanging on to yeah. this to give to somebody you know, as a gift. For a really long time. Yeah, for, for a couple of years, I think. I think it's been longer than that. I think we've had this wallet almost 10 years now. No, no, no. Like that. no, no, no. This I got probably last year. Oh, I this got, is a different wallet. I got this from had. doing a, a okay. presentation, uh, uh, Blackfoot Influences on oh, okay. Maslow presentation, but it's a very nice wallet. Um, yeah. if, you, if you're a female, Mary, <laughs> yeah. Just give this to a give this to a man you like. Yeah, you know, son, uncle, dad, husband, husband what have you? Yeah, whoever. Oh, mm. this is my favorite. Marie Wynn, Red Tails in Love. I actually ordered this off Amazon to include in this box because um, I read. I don't read a lot, but what I do read is n nature writing. And what Marie Wynn did with this book, it's not a new book, it's been out a while now. I, I used to assign this to my students. I think this is probably one of your favorite books it of is all one time. Of, it is one of my favorites of all time, that's why I'm including mm -hmm. it here. And what she shows is that even in some place as busy as Central Park, New York, you can get the full flavor of nature. She does a, she does a nature study uh, through this book in the middle of the biggest city in the world. <laughs> well, it's not the biggest city in the world. Well, it's what, the, Tokyo? Uh, I think, I think uh, Beijing is actually bigger. Yeah. Oh. But um, a big city. Yeah, right? it's, a, it's a large city. It's a super well, urban. I guess one of the, one of the most, um, most a popular cities in the world, I guess you'd say. One North, of the North most, America, yeah. biggest city. North America. Well, it's not North America's biggest city, but it's North America's most. New York know, is not North America's biggest city. City, no. What's bigger than New I York? I think Los America? Angeles is bigger. Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Any so. case, what what's really cool about it is. People have this thing in their mind that there's human spaces and then there's natural wild spaces. And that's a misconception. So what this book does a really good job of is showing you that in the most populated human spaces, you actually have a plethora of natural occurrences, animal 
um, animals living right amidst us, coexisting with us. So, yeah, great example. I work at the university, and uh, <laughs> we have deer that live there year round. So I can walk outside anytime, um, walking between you know one building to the next, and I'll walk by a family, and that's almost daily. And then we have the rattlesnakes that live down on the sixth floor, um, so we can walk outside and see those guys anytime. And yeah. we've got coyotes that live around there, so sometimes you know we see coyotes there. And so yeah. you know, and this is like the middle of a really busy university campus and that. So yeah, and Marie does a really good job of showing how you know in New York City you can be a naturalist and, and still engage with nature studies right in the middle of the city. And you can do that wherever you're at. You don't have to uh, be in some wild wilderness park. Yeah, you don't have to go to like, you know, the middle of the Rocky Mountains in the middle of nowhere to look at nature. You can, you know, walk down the street, basically. Yeah. And, I, and I personally have actually been to Central Park Mm -hmm. have actually went to go look at the some of the animals that are some of the individual animals who are described in this book he actually went out of his way to make friends with um the bird watcher society of central park yeah the, that um, whole that whole naturalist the, the people who are talked about yeah. in this book i met them yeah he went out of his <laughs> way to to make friends with them at, online so that he could get invited because it's like an invite only thing yeah, and, we, went, uh, we went to New York. We went to New York with my daughter, and they especially went to go and meet these guys. My daughter was really weirded out. Um, <laughs> you know, one of her comments was, why are, why are all of Dad's friends like octogenarians? Well, <laughs> so, see, the, the thing is, people that have the time to look at nature are usually uh, people who are retired. Yeah, yeah. Or, or people who have found some kind of niche to where you can act retired and you're not yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, but so it's a really good natural naturalist writing book. Mm -hmm. Um, hi, I highly recommend. I ordered it specially to include in this box. Yeah. Now I'll read the thingy. The scene of this enchanting and true story is the ramble, an unknown wilderness deep in the heart of New York's fabled Central Park. There, an odd and amiable band of nature lovers devote themselves to observing and protecting the park's rich wildlife. When a pair of red-tailed hawks builds up a nest atop a Fifth Avenue apartment house across the street from the model boat pond, Marie Wynne and her fellow regulars are soon transformed into obsessed hawk watchers. The hilarious and occasionally heartbreaking saga of Pale Male and his mate as they struggle to raise a family in their unprecedented death site, and the affectionate portrait of the humans who fall under their spell will delight and inspire readers for years to come. It's a good book. Oh, she's got a little um, back thing from Mary Tyler Moore. She said, Astonishing, if you don't believe that the Central Park of Stuart Little has always existed, Read this book and open your eyes. Oh, because Mary, Mary Tyler Because I'm said. sure Mary Tyler Moore lives right there on Fifth Avenue. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure she, you know, she's yeah. a world-famous actress. Everybody knows who she is. Well, everybody over at the age of 30, maybe. <laughs> yeah, probably older than that. We're dating yeah. ourselves. Anyway, so <laughs> this is the contents of this month's giveaway box. We will be giving away another box um, the start of October. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be included on that draw, you need to put your name down in the comment section for this video. Don't send it to me as a message. Don't send it to me on another video. Put it on this video and then I'm just going to go down and number everybody. I'm, you know, I'm just going to do a printout thing so I don't have to write names all month long. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a scoop. Thank you for entering everybody that was interested in the draw. You, I'm, do I'm, you have a cutoff date? Like you're going to only it, the end of the names month. until... The end of the month. Okay. It can, it can go all month long. But October October 1st, we might draw for it. So you better have your thing in there by the end of September. Mm. I'm not saying that October 1st for sure because I'm going to be integrating these videos into my regular videos. Mm. So you have to watch my regular videos to find out about the draw.
<laughs> yeah. It's a secret. <laughs> I want it. I want it for those people that are actually paying attention and, and uh, following the channel. And mm -hmm. in this case, and last month's too, um, it went to people who were regular, uh, routine commenters on the channel. And so I'm, I'm very happy with this month's selection. Mm -hmm. All right. So. All right. Everything will go back in the box, and your lucky dice.